All right, Linux Mint 17 Kiana XFCE Edition has just been released, and I have to tell you, as a Windows Linux dual booter, once again, Linux Mint continues to impress. So let's take a look at this. All right, I was playing with this last night, and even in a VBox, which is not always the most ideal environment to test an operating system, it ran pretty much uh, flawlessly the short time I was playing with this. Uh, did not see any crashes or any hiccups. Uh, this is the, of course, right-clicking here. It gives you the ability to change wallpapers, of course. The one thing I've always liked about XFCE, well, number one, lightweight desktop environment. So let's say you had maybe an old Windows XP machine. That This can certainly be an option for you. It is designed for beginners uh, as all, well, almost all of them. This is, also has the ability to right-click and add applets or applications to the panel bar. In this situation, I added the trash icon, but you can add other things such as the weather if you so choose to. Again, very, very user-friendly. The file manager, uh, self-explanatory, as you see here. Again, if you are coming from a Windows environment, this shouldn't be difficult at all. This is the Thunar file manager. Of course, the installation process, this has a very, very user-friendly beginner newbie install process, as you see here. You can either choose to install this to wipe out the hard drive and do a complete full install, or if you are running Windows, well, you should be running Windows XP, say you are running Windows Vista, you can install this uh, as a dual boot alongside Windows Vista, as an example. All right, moving along to the menu here, this has the whisker menu. Again, very easy. The settings similar to, oh, probably similar to the control panel in a Windows environment. Shortcuts there at the top. Favorites there, if you have a, a nice search function there, such as music. Now, one thing I noticed about this, this search function doesn't work uh, as well as it should, maybe because it wasn't uh, fully installed, but I typed in music. I'm not sure where it gave me the image writer there. But that being said, it works most of the time, and as I stated, very simple to use. I typed in monitor. I was, just, I was looking for system monitor. Actually, it's um, task manager. This was, that's what I wanted. There it is. Well, this is it, Linux Mint 17, very nice. You know, as Linux distributions such as this become more and more polished, uh, bugs aside, it seems to me that the one thing that is going to differentiate these uh, between uh, from other Linux distributions is the ability to adapt to new gaming systems or gaming applications as they become more and more prevalent in the Linux platform. And I think uh, gaming has a very good future for Linux. Time will tell. Alright, that's it for this one. Well, thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to subscribe and support. Become a patron of the Total OS Today channel. I'll have links below and you may be picked to have a private conversation with me on the technology topic of your choice. Wouldn't that be cool? I think so. That's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching again and as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future.